Hi, I'm Dr. Campbell. I am here to talk to you about the Mayersville shooting, which involved um, the American Indian Jalene Freinberg. Now, they're going back to school probably on Monday, and teachers need to be prepared. The children are going to really want to talk to you about the situation. I know the school districts are going to follow protocol. They're going to have additional grievance counselors on hand, and they're going to beef up security. But the children are going to really want to talk about it. And because there is racism that exists in your schools, you as a teacher have an opportunity to bridge that gap between teachers and students and between students and students. Now, the reason that we know that there's racism in, in the school is because one of the students by the name of Jordan Lutton, he called up the Fox News station and he said that Freiburg was a victim of racism or of recent bullying and, and racist comments about him and probably about the American Indians. And so he reacted. So evidently, whatever strategies the school put in place didn't work. Okay, so that's just the reality. And so what I would recommend is I would recommend that the teachers, first of all, get a couple sheets. Um, you want some compare and contrast sheets. And what I find is if, the, if you take two circles and overlap them, they work well for comparing contrast activities. And then I would get pictures of the different ethnicities that are in your classroom. Have the students to work in pairs to compare and contrast the physical attributes. And then once they go from pairs, have them work in groups of fours to combine their list. Then have them work in groups of eights to combine their list. And then you stand at the front of the chalkboard and you write down what are the differences and how are the different races alike. Now, once you do that, then you want to tell your students, as you can see, we have more um, commonalities than we do have differences. Then you want to have the students to write strategies and, and give ideas about how they could ensure that none of the students in the school feel like they're being bullied because of their race. And so this is going to get students to see you as a teacher in a different light. They're going to see you as a person who is in their lives to try to protect them from what happened in the Jaylene Freiburg shooting. This is Dr. Campbell. Uh, you can read about it on my blog, www.positiveracialrelationships.com. You can also call me on my direct line, 856 566-3267. Thanks for viewing today. Have a great day.